right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to embark on a journey. And uh, this is my first time cruise virgin in the building, but we about to make it happen. Captain. This is where I'm dwelling for the next week here on the cruise, on the Grandiosa. We're about to do the Mediterranean cruise. Got the TV on deck. Sorry, it's a little dark. Got the bedside, couch. Okay, I might do some streaming from here. Free agent lifestyle hat. And we're at the port right now. And we're not taking off for a few hours, so I got to get this right here by the time that we take off it's probably gonna be dark but I'll get a video of it but anyway man I'm looking forward to this trip this is my first cruise I'm breaking my cherry and we gonna set sail and hitting the Mediterranean man let me tell you man I'm looking forward to this and it's much needed much needed at this point anyway man we're gonna set sail hit the Mediterranean and uh, make it happen. Hit a couple of countries, European spots, and you know what. You know what they got in here they got a casino just for you can spend some more money or win some more money but I'm sure the house rules on this one and you're looking at a casino right here that got tables five star five card poker you got Texas Hold'em and of course blackjack and roulette in the back I'm sure they got crap somewhere I might have missed it but as you can see casino TVs and everything like that you got the bar ready to go and serve them up it's gonna be a god dang mess in here a catastrophe <laughs> all right luckily lucky to get a couple of streams done in this bad boy they got a massive chocolate seal chocolate octopus this is going to be the chocolate factory down here with a bunch of other options, the chocolate ship. And then you got the mermaid, as you know, El Chocolate. Good morning, mother suckers. Yeah, right there is the island of what they would probably best known as Sicily, but it's not actual the name of the island, but we're pulling into Palermo. It's the little island at the bottom of the boot in Italy. And I'm gonna go see what's out there. A couple of good cities. I'm gonna explore, look at the hotels on the other side. It's beautiful. We're gonna explore that. We're gonna take the drone out. Let's go. All right, man. We off on a we're off on an excursion. We landed in Palermo, in the small island, which you would probably call Sicily. And the time is kicking my ass. I'm on opposite time. So this morning is nighttime where I'm from. Everybody's just going to sleep, and I couldn't sleep the entire night. So now I'm ready to go to sleep, but. I need a couple of days for this to kick in, but check this out. Let's go on the excursion and see what 
this small island is made of. Welcome to Palermo. It's a hotel up there, which I think they described as a castle that turned into a hotel, that turned into a military occupied building, and then was bombed by the Americans. But this is Palermo on Sicily. And that's the city down there. And that's the Gulf. About 2,500 years of history, starting with the North Africans, Tunisians, all the way to the Philistines, and I don't even know the history, but all the way into what it is now. Crazy. And it's situated on top of this mountain, as you can see here. town of Sicily I came to put a couple of words in and I had to check in so as you see man they had to get my parade going real quick had to check in we got the bread over here street food the bread and the vendors and I think up ahead we're about to enter into uh, the old palace of the old kings and let me tell you man I cannot keep up with all of the transitions between the Muslims, the Christians, and the Greeks, and the Phoenicians who occupied Sicily. I can't keep up with the history, man. We got 2,500 years, even before Christ, this island was occupied. So I try to explain it, but it's cool nonetheless. Got a fetish for success if I ain't next and I just leave him pressure Next to rain, all they window pane, puffy plain Jane Let him second guess me, wanna cop the Porsche with the porcelain skin Whip the wheels at the horse just Why they trash at the chore on my list Out of this orb and I saw with the pen I'm eating good, Miss Kalari, this shit Hey, girl Hey, girl Hey, girl Hey, Walking through this Sicilian market and they're selling everything, seafood, fruits, vegetables, all of that, right out here in the open in the traditional way. This is definitely this is definitely a unique experience. They got all kind of seafood. Check this out. I'm at the Sicilian market and we got the shrimp, frito, prego, no salsa. But it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it a out of ten. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a seven. It's pretty good. Once in a lifetime, might as well try it. They back there grilling the fish. We got musica, and it's all good, man. Made it back to the room. And uh, that was a good excursion. I actually booked an excursion 
didn't have one planned. I booked it last minute and I was thinking, I was like, I'm going to come into town and I'm going to just hop off the ship, get taxis, Ubers, which a lot of people did. And a lot of people booked excursions. And of course, it's an extra fee. You're talking about, you know, 40 year olds, 50 year olds, maybe sometimes 75 year olds. And I was like, I'm going to just, um, I'm going to just go out without the excursion and, and, and explore the city by myself. Well, first of all, it's Sicily. You guys know the history of Sicily. But um, I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and, and book the excursion last minute. And I'm glad I did because we went to the key places. We went to places that I never would have thought of going or I would have had to take a taxi. Probably would have been double, triple the price. But uh, it would have been without the big group. But the, the group didn't hold me back. I was able to still get footage. All right. I'm, I wanted to break the drone out, but wasn't able to do that. But I'm glad I did it. Well, anyway, it's nighttime where I'm from. I've still got jet lag for the most part. And it's daytime here, middle of the afternoon. So guess what? I am dead tired. I worked out. I ate breakfast. Went on a four-hour excursion. And I'm back in the room. I'm going to take a nap till dinner time, man. All right, more vlogs coming soon, man. We out. We have arrived in a kingdom called Malta. To tell you the truth, I don't know much about it, but I'm sure I'll pass on what I've learned. It's a beautiful view from Malta. All right, I think I'm on a castle. I didn't take the tour, but this castle is situated all the way up at the top of the hill. It's like a cathedral and it's on some medieval time night stuff. As you can see, man, beautiful, beautiful view. I'm in Malta, just landed here, and ask me about anything, I have no idea. I'm not taking the tour here, I decided to just kick it and chill. Lots of old buildings, I want to say a lot of buildings that look like they're military type buildings, where they were preserving or protecting their little area, so it's a small island, said it was invaded and conquered many times by many different people. So I can see why the town's built like this. But let's go explore. I think this has been converted into a mall, like a modern day shop. So we're gonna check it out. me wondering man i can see why people were healthy back in the day look at all these steps people probably have to walk these steps i don't know how long he's been here but steps everywhere i mean steps that's why i don't see no fat people here steps 